So today we are comparing uh, client environments in the five to six hundred dollar category and um, we're looking at virtualized uh, virtual machines running um, on an ESX uh, platform and on, what we have on the left hand side is a virtualized Windows 7 environment with um, View 4.5 running uh, the PC of IP protocol to a, a zero client uh, from Samsung, the NC240 uh, zero client product. Um, on the right hand side we have a similar Windows 7 environment but this time uh, rather than using View 4.5 we're using Zen Desktop 4 from Citrix and uh, that is connected to um, a VIA Eden class processor uh, thin client um, which could be from Hewlett Packard like an HP um, 5545 or a WISE V10L class processor um, connected to that generic uh, 24 inch monitor and that is running with the uh, HDX protocol. So for this test we've selected a popular flash website uh, GUIMark which uh, runs a frame rate test uh, to test the performance of a flash uh, website. So what GUIMark does is it has a test that runs for approximately 10 seconds and then draws a graph showing the uh, frame rate of the um, video performance. Average frame rate has about 32 frames per second, uh, generally between 30 and 40 and occasionally there's some frame dips below uh, 20 frames per second. So for the Zen desktop environment what we'll do is we'll first with the the HDX uh, redirect uh, multimedia redirect function for flash we'll keep that off um, uh, disabled and see how that performs and then we'll also run the test uh, with the MMR on to see the difference. So we'll run the test um, and this will take 10 seconds to produce a frame rate um, for the case where the multimedia redirect is disabled. So it prints the graph and um, as you can see in this case we have an average frame rate of 9 frames per second compared to the 32 frames per second of uh, the ZV 4.5 protocol and um, you'll see frequently the frame rate drops down even you know f 2 to 4 frames per second and when you're watching the flash you'll actually see the flash uh, video stuttering occasionally which is where that uh, low frame rate is being recorded. So what we'll do now is we'll enable the multimedia redirect preference of Zen Desktop 4. So we go, move across to the preferences menu and we select HDX preferences and you can see the flash acceleration is currently disabled but uh, now we'll re enable it and we'll apply that setting. In order for that setting to take effect we actually need to reload the uh, website so we'll close the browser and we'll relaunch it. So it's accessing the same website this time with the multimedia redirect enabled. So in this case the flash uh, is being rendered on the client uh, from the web rather than to the host and then being forwarded uh, to the client as was in the previous test. So let's repeat the test now with the case of the flash acceleration enabled. It's drawing the graph now and actually what you see in this case we have a frame rate uh, under 6 frames per second uh, and you probably noticed in the flash itself how it was a quite jarry and we've got this big trough here uh, you know, in the sub 2 frames per second category. Um, what's interesting is that intuitively one would have expected a higher frame rate for the case where we've enabled the multimedia rep be direct but the in, in reality it depends on what performance client you're using. So in these VIA Eden class clients they're uh, unable to uh, render as quickly as a much higher performance client so if you're wanting to get high performance high frame rate on a, uh, a thin client using Zen Desktop 4 you're, you're required to use you know, a much beefier uh, client perhaps a dual core Atom class uh, at the minimum. That concludes this segment of the video. Please join us for part 2 where we'll demonstrate other performance aspects of these client platforms. Thank you.